In this video, we are going to look at using just the equal statement through some very simple where clauses. And what we want to do is just as a recap, if you've just started up your session, you'll need to do use employees to go ahead and use that database. So uh, that's saying I'm going to be using the employees database just to uh, reinforce that. But once you issue that command, you don't have to issue it over and over again once that database has been established for your session. So let's do uh, select. We're going to say star. That's all columns from employees. And now I'm going to say where. I'm going to say Elvis. Good old Elvis is back in the building. So now when I run that, I can see that uh, we have a, a bunch of uh, different Elvises out there in the database. So quite a few of them there. And now let's go ahead and copy this. And let's see if we have any where the last name is equal to Elvis. Yep, there's an autocomplete coming up. So go ahead and hit that. And we can see that we didn't get anything back. And this is the way that SQL Workbench is going to behave. It's just going to kind of show us one row with all null values. Kind of, I, I don't particularly care for that because it kind of says, I did return a row, but no, not really. There, nothing came back from the, the database. So I guess that is, it seems counterintuitive to me, but maybe that's just me. So now let's go ahead and grab this again. And we want to talk about where not equals. So if you remember that, we can do this. So we're going to say first name not equal and go ahead and run that. And we see we get a bunch of them coming back. And just to reiterate, copy this again. I'm just doing Command V. I'm on a Mac, so just remember, you can also do what's called bang equals. Computer programmers will call the explanation point a bang often. So we can go ahead and uh, do that. So the statements on line seven and line nine are identical. So this operator is just an alternate uh, syntax for this operator. So both of them are not equal operators. Now let's go ahead and grab this one again. And with the where criteria, remember we were looking at count before, we can actually come in here and say, select count. So we can use a function. So the count is a summary function. It's gonna sum things up. Let's go ahead and run that. And we see that we have 246 Elvises in the building or in the database, I guess. So we do have a, a bunch of them there. And this one will give us the details on that. Okay, this concludes the video on using the equals and not equals. In the next video, we are going to introduce using and and or so we can start looking at multiple columns and selecting or adding criteria for multiple columns in the database.